Hello Virgo, we're getting ready to do your reading. My name is Donna. Welcome to Irish Donna Tarot. Um, in the comments section, I'm looking for different ideas for videos, some new ideas, something that you would love to see, a question that would, you would love to see answered. I am taking suggestions, and so I would appreciate that. And let me know where you're watching from. I'm in Chicago. It'd be really fun to know uh, where you're viewing it from, you know, where you're viewing the video from in the world. The energy Virgo coming into this reading is a two of swords energy. You're not talking to somebody. You've gone silent on somebody. Let's look and see how you're feeling. Your energy about this person, though, is a knight of cups. You want to make a romantic overture towards them. We see the nine of wands. You have fire in your belly. So the knight of cups is uh, Pisces energy. The two of swords is Libra energy. You're trying to ignore something that's going on, but you really like this person. The Nine of Wands says that you are feeling very overburdened, overworked right now. You do have fire in your belly for this person, Sagittarius Energy. The Temperance card, you do want to reconnect with them. It looks as though you haven't seen them, haven't talked to them in a while. Your person's energy, Four of Swords, they are wounded, they are healing, they are exhausted from whatever this an exchange has been. Labor energy, your person's not feeling very balanced at all, Virgo. We get the Page of Pentacles. This person likes you, but you can see they're sort of turning their back. Look at this, face this way into the future, sort of facing up at the moon, looking and trying to find answers. Yeah, your person's sad. Four of Cups. Cancerian energy. Your person just feels as though you're not really engaged with them. And according to this, I would say that um, while you may have good feelings about this person, they just, they're not feeling your vibe at all. What's your outcome for this week? Seven of Cups. Keeping your options open, Virgo. We have the Three of Pentacles. You do, you may work with this person. You may collaborate with them. You may see them on occasion. The Ace of Swords, though, there's some clarity coming in here. So we're going to go ahead and, and look at this more deeply. Let's see what the overall energy from Spirit says about this relationship. What is Spirit's message about this relationship in Virgo's life? Wolf, Spirit, family. Okay. So we see you very focused on your family, very loving, very engaged with them in a very good place in your family life, feeling very happy and content. Let's see what else we have. We have new beginnings, okay. So you're starting something new, Virgo. Now, it doesn't look like it's exactly with this person. It could be, it's possible because you have fire in your belly. The motivation to start something new is here. I'm not seeing the action as of yet. But you definitely want to make a romantic overture. You definitely want to see them, balance things out with them. The phoenix rising from the ashes is transmutation. You feel as though there have to be some changes in the relationship or how it's approached. Um, Spirit is really saying that this needs to go through a, a, a death and rebirth or it is going through a death and rebirth currently. Let's look and see what the clarifiers are. I'm going to move this. All right. Why is the Two of Swords here? The two of you are not speaking. Why is the Two of Swords here, Virgo, for you and your person? Why is the Two of Swords here? Let's see what we have. Okay. Eight of Wands. There's a lot of passion in this relationship. That Sagittarius energy, the desire to really make love all night, not long talk. The two of you have a really hot connection. It's very, a very spontaneous connection. It's a very exciting connection for both of you. The death card. Okay. So I'm not really sure here. The death card is Scorpio energy, and we have Phoenix rising from the ashes. So the death card, it looks like there's at least... Well, there's an ending. It's, it's that simple. The Daughter of Pentacles is a page of Pentacles. An offer, small offers were made in the past. 
you both really still come into this energy as at least wanting to work together in the future. Tell us why the death card is here. Eight of Swords, Virgo, you're not taking any action. Father of Cups, we have this energy of deep love for this person that you're not really speaking about. Why are you ending this relationship, Virgo? What is that about? Oops. Okay, Two of Cups is here. So you may have a relationship or a marriage. The Son of Pentacles, that's Virgo energy. Virgo, that's your energy. Moving, you know, you're, you're being silent by choice. We see some toxicity here. You have great clarity about what you want, interestingly enough. Uh, the Mother of Pentacles. So, Virgo, what I'm seeing here is that at least for some of you, you have a relationship with somebody else and you just feel as though you, you know, you can't take action is what I'm getting here. Okay, so let's see what we have. Why do you feel so romantically towards your person? Because that Knight of Pentacles, that Knight of Cups energy is very much the energy, I have these upside down, uh, very much the energy of, <laughs> of um, love. You're at a crossroads. You're confused. We see confusion here. The Two of Swords. You're gonna, you've gone silent here twice. You're trying to figure things out is what I'm seeing. You're trying to detach from this person. You don't want to feel this way. The Father of Swords says you're trying to use head over heart to detach from them. The Three of Coins, you may work with them. That is a collaboration, but you do feel, you still feel... You definitely still care about this person. Page of Cups. We have a page over here too. Page of uh, Page of Pentacles. So, what is this fire in your belly? What is it that you're? It's sort of like you're still carrying a flame for this person. Why? It looks like you've decided not to be with them. Eight of Coins. Work in the future. Getting to know them. Yeah. Here we go. Ten of Swords. I don't know whether you're feeling as though you have to end the relationship with them, Ten of Swords, or whether you're feeling stabbed in the back. I think it could go either way. It could be both. Tell us why the Ten of Swords is here. That's a painful ending. Five of Cups. You feel sorry about it. The Star card, you want to heal. You know, what I'm getting here is that, for some of you anyway, it looks like you have... This person came into your life when you may have been having marital problems or problems in a significant relationship. You started a relationship with them and now you want to return to the original relationship. It can go either way though, it really can. Ten of coins though. If you're married, your your marriage is working out better, you're happier, you're more stable. You're, you know, you're wanting to keep a commitment. A very, you've got a lot of traditional marriage here. You have two of cups. You have the energy. Even though we're looking at this person, we see your person pretty wounded. I don't feel that they think it's them at all. The hierophant, the ten of coins, two of cups. Those are all marriage. Those are all indicating that you're in a marriage. I'm not really seeing this person as a third party, but let's take a look. The world card. Yep, that's even. It looks as though you're closing out the cycle. You feel as though it's been a successful run in this relationship, but you're not feeling it currently, I don't think. What is, so tell us who this good energy is for. Four of so Swords, somebody that you're healing from. Temperance card, boy, Temperance twice. Tell us more. Eight of Coins, somebody you work with, oh my God. Okay. Okay, Virgo, you're going to have to leave comments for me because this is, it's like there's so much confusion in this reading. It's very complex. It's very complicated. You evidently seem to be in love with two people. You are being pulled in two different directions. You really care about somebody and yet it looks like you're ending your relationship with them and you're not really telling them. They're over here being very aware that something is very wrong and they don't feel good or happy about it. Let's see what's going on with your person. Nine of Wands, they have fire in their belly for you. You have the Nine of Wands, you have fire in your belly for them. You both have passion. 
Daughter of Cups, Page of Cups. They want more. You know, we have the Daughter, and we have Three of Swords. Yep, your person is in a third-party situation with them. They're heartbroken. They know that you're leaving them behind is what it looks like. Five of Swords, they feel played. You know, a third-party situation can also be people who are divorced but act like they're still married. So I'm not going to say it's definitely third-party, but for many of you it will be. Wheel of Fortune, they just feel like they, they, you know, they just feel like they have to go out and make a new life for themselves. They feel like they have to grieve and get over it and move forward. The Ace of Coins, they, they're, they're looking for somebody who's going to give them a new offer. They would like it from you, but the Justice card says that they need balance, they need happiness, that's Libra energy. Why is a Page of Pentacles here? The Nine of Cups, they do see you as their happy place. Eat, drink, be merry. This person's an empress. And this person is feeling very defensive. Your person's not accustomed to being treated like this, Virgo. Not that you're treating them in a way that you feel as bad. I think you feel like you have to do this. But again, I, helpful, it would be very helpful. I need some feedback here in the cards to see what you have to say about this. Six of Swords energy says that they're going to move on and heal. We see a healing card, a healing card. They're trying to find their balance. They feel really sad when they look at the situation. They don't feel like you've treated them very well, but they also understand. The strength card says that you're under, your person understands what you're doing. And you feel as though they're psychic. They probably are. But what we're seeing here is your person has a lot of strength. They understand it, but it would be very it would be so much nicer if you would talk to them. They're trying, they're wondering why you've gone silent. This is, you know, Virgo energy. You've ghosted them in, in essence. Queen of Swords, okay. They're just gonna, you know, they're gonna step aside. Your person, Justice, and the Queen of Swords, they know the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, and that is that there is likely an ending right now. Yep, Devil card. They don't want to be part of the toxicity. You're dealing with an Empress here. You're dealing with somebody who really deserves, you know, something better. And I'm not, I'm not throwing any shade here. I'm just saying that, you know, when we get into those situations where we say it's complicated, it gets very complicated. Even when people know they're not going to marry, the way they part ways becomes very, um, it becomes almost like, I don't, wouldn't say a point of honor, but those words keep popping in my mouth. That today, by today's standards, it's like, People just ghost each other. They just go silent, and they're like, well, they'll figure it out. You know, that hey, if I don't talk to them, they'll figure it out. But when we get the devil energy with the tower energy, it's, it's pretty shocking. So anyway, I'm just, you know, we get the sun of swords. So that is somebody's coming in with uh, Gemini energy. You might be dealing with the Gemini to clarify things. Um, Looks like your outcome is a conversation that's going to come about. There may be some sharp words. You know, somebody feels, again, very ghosted here. Three of Pentacles, hanged man. The relationship is just in stasis. Nobody's doing anything. Nobody's going to move forward. I do get the chariot card. Who is bringing in the chariot? Who is bringing in the chariot? The lover's card. Okay. Both of you, okay, I need to find out who's going to reach out to whom here. Who is going to make this connection? This Ace of Swords is typically going to be an electronic communication like a text message. A new beginning coming in seven days, six to seven days here. Eight of Coins starting this process all over again. Phoenix rising from the ashes. I feel like you're on a merry-go-round here. Ten of Swords after an ending. Okay, so I don't know. This is a very strange reading because it's almost like Virgo. And I feel like you're more the Chariot card, Cancerian energy. Honey, I'm home. Again, clarifying. Why do we have Phoenix rising from the ashes in this reading? Two of Swords. The Death card, you know, it's basically by not speaking, this relationship loses its goodwill. We get the Death card twice. We got the Two of Swords twice or three times. This is just not, this is not balanced. This is not healthy. What do we have here for the energy of new beginnings? This is 
the Son of Cups. The Son of Cups is the energy of the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Cups there. So, you know what, whoever the person is, who you know, whether this is vice versa energy or what, it looks like the person who is in a, who is attached to somebody that looks like they're married to them is the one who sort of runs this relationship and it's really taking its toll on the other person. Whatever this is, however it's working out, because I think there, this could be very mixed energies, but I'm seeing that this is taking a very, very bad, unhealthy toll on the person who's on the outside here. It's not healthy for them, it's not good for them, and they deserve better, whatever that is. Seven of Wands, both of you are feeling very defensive. The passion here is unbelievable. You know, this may just end here. I'm getting Ten of Wands, giving up the idea of a new beginning. And I don't feel, Virgo, that I feel like you really want this person. You're denying yourself that energy. They really want you. And they kind of get what you're doing um, since they seem to know your life very well. But it's taking a toll on them. The love is here, no doubt about it, with the lovers. Family. Yeah, wolf spirit. So family is the issue. It usually is. You know, oftentimes I feel people are in third-party situations. They're madly in love. The Four of Wands, a home, a hearth, children. And I'm getting, yep, we have Daughter of Cups. So whenever we start pulling too many pages, we get the, the motivator here, the Tower card. That can even be somebody seeing a text message or something coming through. So I'm going to look at the overall energy here, Virgo, the uh, Heart of the Fairy Oracle. Who, okay, so this is very painful reading, and my, my feeling is that this is very painful. Um, what is going to happen here that's hidden? Fairies are hidden. Hidden energies, the returning. These are not read in reverse. So what I'm getting here is it looks like somebody's working a lot. They're working on themselves. But there's just a darkness there. The returning is something that's being thought of right now. The child. You know, that's not usually a, re these are not reversals, but it does look like returning to a child, right? Coming back into a family to work on a situation, to try to make it better. The fairy of youth, spending time with children. So I'm going to leave it there. It does look like a relationship that um, may end up just a friendship. You may work together in the future. It doesn't look like there's you're going to go that long without contact. It doesn't look. It just looks as though the person here who's in this situation, whoever the other person is, Virgo, looks like they're taking a pretty big emotional hit. But you know, let me know in the comments. Sending you love from Chicago. Since I'm back, tell me where you're from. Thanks, Virgo. Bye bye.